Okay. Seems like I don't hate the witchers. Oh my god, I was closer to the other side than I thought. Vernon's waiting inside. Staring. Is your hatred towards the Scoia'tael some sort of revenge? You don't know me, Geralt. Human or non-human, it makes no difference to me. We were chosen to fight the Scoia'tael, and that's the mission we pursue. To me, the Scoia'tael are but bandits hiding out in the woods. If there were humans among them, I'd kill them in a flash just the same. Nice area, isn't it? I prefer these little towns, forgotten by gods and people alike, to palaces and castles. It's survival of the fittest here. At least you know what to expect. So yes, I like it here. How did you end up in the Blue Stripes? Why do you ask? You don't end up in a unit fighting non-humans by accident. You must have an interesting story to tell. Why should I tell it to you of all people? I have trust issues. I'd like to know who's covering my ass. No need to worry, Witcher. I'm good at what I do. Do I see a sensitive little girl <laughs> hiding behind a mask of indifference? I wouldn't be here if you were right. I was raised in a small village where people cared about two things only. If the drought was going to destroy their crops, and if the Scoia'tael would appear in the local woods. One day, a large Scoia'tael unit appeared. They burned the village to the ground and slaughtered all the inhabitants. I alone survived because their commander, the bastard, fancied me. They dragged me around with them for months. I knew they'd kill me once they tired of me. And then Vernon turned up. Did he draft you into service? He taught me everything I know. In time, I realized my place was with the Blue Stripes. I'm a soldier because I'd do it well. Ever dreamed of a different life? Finch, our marksman, once tried farming, but he just didn't have the hands for it. Bet he'd get me right between the eyes from 80 paces off. A hundred. I've tried cooking, darning, smiling like a doll, serving beer in a tavern. None of my thing. The man we're looking for is much more dangerous than any Scoia'tael. Must be. 
If he managed to outwit Geralt of Rivia. It wasn't the first time someone tried to kill Fultest. I killed an assassin before. That means there could be more assassins out there. If anyone screws up, it won't be me, I assure you. How did it go? Did you get him? The Kingslayer fled to Vergen in Edirne. He forced Triss to teleport them both. Damn, he's made a mockery of us! If that's how he wants to play, I'll make him regret it. I heard you have news for me. Lorido has a deal with Kedwin. That merchant living in his house is Henselt's agent. For a pouch of gold, the good commandant promised to support Kedwini troops in the event of a conflict. So what now? I want that spy to squeeze him for information. And I've sentenced Commandant Lorido to death. Roach, we have to sail. We need to get to Edern. I'm not leaving until I deal with Lorido. The spy may know something about the Kingslayers. I wouldn't be surprised if Henselt of Kedwin was behind all this. All right. Let's deal with this spy. Listen very carefully. I'm not repeating this. We have two targets. The first is a Kedwini spy, Arnold Malaga. I want him alive. The other is Bernard Lorido, the trading post commander and a traitor to Temeria. We don't let his kind live. Arnold almost never leaves the residence, so we need to strike there. To get inside, we'll use Vess's unusual talents and Bernard's habits. Stop calling him by his first name. It really rubs me the wrong way. Whatever you wish. Lorido's house. The first floor contains guest quarters. Geralt had the opportunity to take a look. Regular patrols. Second floor. Lorido's bodyguards' quarters. They think they're the toughest warriors this side of the Yoruga, but really they're lame drowners dressed in colorful gambesons. Third floor. The lion's den. Here, Lorido stores plundered valuables. It's where he sleeps, shits, and wanks off while staring at the statuette of a she-elf. Only the following are allowed to enter. Arnold Malaga, Lorido's mother, his cousin, and whores. <laughs> I'm not sure I still have that frog. After making his round at the trading post, Lorido always orders two ladies. Vess will act as one of them. The house is a bloody fortress. Lorido had it enlarged. The Witcher will enter through the extension. Vess will open a window for you. Once in, you'll have to improvise, Geralt, but you'll have the element of surprise. Vess can hold her own, too. Zenon and Rickard will cover you from vantage points. If things get hot, lure those horses near the windows. I'll be in the courtyard with the rest, ready to enter in the extreme. I repeat, in the extreme. That's all. Any questions? No. Let's get to work. Yeah! Semper Fi! Vernon's waiting inside. Too early. Turn after dark. Your chariot awaits, fair youth. The good spirits of this tower will guide and protect you. <laughs> Thank you. 
like playing hide and seek, I'll find you. Come on, precious. You'll love it when I mount you.
You're this new girl's friend? Where is she? The commander took her to the tower. Hurry! How did you know? She's obviously not one of us. A hooker always knows a hooker. So I guess something was going to happen. Before they took her, she whispered, Window in the extension. And when that bastard went to take a pee, I noticed you climbing over the wall. How do I get to Laredo? When he's having it off, he lets no one in. But his mother has keys. You must really love her taking such risks. Right. Where's the mother? In the basement, distilling fist tech. Thanks. Now go, climb over the wall and run. If a tall man dressed in blue stops you, tell him everything. Tell him his plan was ingeniously simple. Thank you. If you manage to enter the tower, kill the bastard Witcher. He should die slowly and painfully for all he did to us. you. What do you want? The key to the upper quarters. I know you have it. You want to free the elven girl? Your efforts are in vain. Like an Isleen's prophecy. The seed has been planted and will soon sprout. Shut up and give me the key. The key. The key. Uh, where did I put it? Make up your mind, Cameron.
I was not expecting that table to tip over. <laughs> to lose. She needs help. We need to get her out of here. Geralt, we've no time to lose. She need. Thanks, Geralt. I heard something behind that door. Leave me here. Please. You don't look like a whore, Elf. My name is Morrill. What month is it? This is no time to chat. Can you walk? I will not stay here any longer. Even if I must crawl out. She won't make it through the garden, Geralt. We must leave by the front. Lead the way. We'll be right behind you. So, what month is it? Glamis. It must be coming. They kidnapped me. It was snowing. And the child's father is... This child has only a mother. When I realized I was pregnant, I wanted to kill myself. Don't say that. I am in shame. It's horrible. I think I... Damn. Her water broke. Geralt, change of plans. Back. Back to the tower. 
I need a clean bed, hot water and some time. We can't be disturbed. Go get help! Warning! Intruder in the tower! Geralt, I see we're in time. Where have you been, Roach? A little problem <laughs> along the way. The Temerian Special Forces, created by Foltes to combat the Scoyatal after the first war with Nilfgaard. Veterans, professionals, the best of the best. This is the end, Roach. See these emblems? Temerian lilies, that's all I lack. I've defeated the commanders of all the Special Forces in the North. Now I shall unite the Scoyatal. Finish what you started. I shan't kill you, Roach. We Enshe never kill the last specimens of dying breeds. Live on and remember who defeated you. Remember he can do so again. Va fail, Vernon Roach. You're making a mistake, Yorveth. I will find you. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to win that or if that's what's supposed to happen. The horse and run away, but I'm sure he'll show up again. Bloody non-humans. Enough of your Veth. What's with Laredo and where's Vess? Laredo's dead. I saved Vess. Barely. What happened? Your plan was hardly the most. A boy, Geralt! A healthy what? boy! Whose child is that? Morals. Whose? 
We found an elf woman Lorito kidnapped almost a year ago. He was the father. I'd never touch a she-elf. Enough! We don't have time for that. The ship's waiting. Why did you do it? Why? Don't touch me! I hate this town. Prepare the boat. We sail immediately. What about the kid? It's not coming with us. And who in this hellhole will take in a half-breed? Saharam. Take it to Saharam in Lobenden. And make sure to tell him it's Morrill's child. The assassin had had his day. Very true. He'd kidnapped Triss Marigold. It seemed like Foltest's life had not been enough. It seemed like the killer also wanted the monarch's former advisor. There was no time to think. It was time to act. Grabbing Geralt, I embarked on a voyage upriver, deeper into the Pontar Valley. There, in a region known as Lormark, King Henselt of Kedwen had made camp with his army. King is the key word here denoting the central figure in my plan to capture the Kingslayer. The special forces of King made the soil light lightly upon him. Foltest had lost some of their customary enthusiasm, treating us to not one single joke of the how many ways can you skin an elf variety. Which only goes to support my theory that the human mind is capable of producing a finite amount of horror before some manner of reflection springs itself upon it. Must have been a massacre! Bones everywhere! How in the world did Cleversig harness so much of the power? Do you always get so excited at the sight of skulls, Death Mold? <sighs> Scoff all you want, I speak of magic! The kind of spells that win wars, thousands incinerated in seconds! <laughs> power, destruction, annihilation! Yes, after which Sabrina Cleversig was burned at the stake. And the Pontar Valley remains within Edern's borders. Edern is a carcass. Still showing life signs, but the realm's days are numbered. No peasant revolt can change that. You're wrong, Deathmold. This country lives. I can feel it. Like an old wounded bear covered in scars, hounds all round it. But still strong. Still deadly. This will be a good war. But sire, the Edernian barons won't dare stand against you. You should see that shortly. I've prepared everything. Sire! Long live the king! I think we'll leave it here. Bye.